Um, for the federal government. Recorded? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Helping them out. Uh, so you're indirectly working for the yes, BLM. Yeah. Do you have any yeah. sense as a contractor um, for the federal government? Recorded? Yes, it is. Uh, how I many? Don't, I honestly I can't be recorded because I can't speak for them. So I can't stop you from being quiet, but <laughs> okay. uh, you can't stop me from recording. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right. Very well. Now, are you with the BLM yourself? We are the contractor helping them out with all of this stuff. I've got a question for you as a contractor. Do you ever have any ethical qualms about working for the federal government? I'm going to set up the room really quickly, but uh, we're, the BLM should be here soon. All right. give credit where credit is due to the uh, West Side Community Center, which is uh, a former school, now a public facility for community activities in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Nationalist or not, they have provided uh, good access and uh, friendly help while I've been here so far. Not saying that will necessarily be the case all day, but hopefully. If I may ask, how much of the people's tax money will you personally receive for your activities today? Are you with the BLM? Yep. Question for you. Do you have any sense of how many arrests your institution has made since you've been working for the BLM in Colorado? I have no idea. Do you, do you make arrests? Your, your, your people. Do your people make arrests? I suppose they could. Uh, you control what? Uh, One-eighth of the territory of the United States, is that correct? I have. I'm not sure. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, I've got work to do. The Huffington Post says that... Um, do you work for the BLM? <laughs> is that a yes or a no? Yes. Okay. The Huffington Post says that... Uh, uh, well, let me, let me get out the quote here. I've got a copy of it in my pocket. You can come over here and answer it or not. Uh, Huffington Post says, quote, you know, still looking, okay, uh, with regard to fracking, uh, the BLM has failed to inspect thousands of oil and gas wells it considers potentially high risks for water contamination, unquote. To what extent should we be, to what extent should we be trusting you with this land? It would be better to hand it over to private concerns. Would they take better care of it if they owned the land than you do? I'll let uh, someone else that knows a lot more about that uh, speak to me. All right. Great. Any volunteers? Are you with the BLM? We are. Question for you. Do you have any sense of how many arrests your institution makes in Colorado, you know, like in a given year on average? Arrests? Yeah, you, you have, you, you do make arrests. The BLM is capable of making arrests, correct? You know, I have absolutely no idea. You have park rangers? We have um, law enforcement rangers, yes. And we do have park rangers too, but they're generally more like river rangers. Or okay. they're more, um, they visit with recreation staff that goes and visits with the public. and. To helps work with them and, and give them ideas of, you know, places to go and things to do type thing. Oh, I appreciate the answer. Yeah. What are you arresting this man for? You've seen the dramatic liberty arrests in Keene, New Hampshire. Now see 111 reasons why you should move there and reinforce these gutsy activists.
Keen's advantages are compelling, and the list of reasons to move has just been updated. For details, visit freekeen.com.